Can I be profitable? Trading from a wheel. Is this my worst idea yet? Let's just go, bro. I don't even care what I get. I think I can be profitable. <laughs> options, bro. We're going back to square one. It's been around like six, seven months since I've taken an options trade. I wouldn't consider myself excited for this. We're looking for Meta, QQQ, Spy, maybe Microsoft. Don't give me DraftKings. Come on. Please, man. Spy. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. I swear to God, I'm not. Wait, what? No, wait. I thought I was going to get spy. Bro, I mean, you know, that's fine, bro. Microsoft is fantastic. I put a thousand in Robinhood just for this moment. 411, bro. Wow, it's been a minute. These are kind of pricey. Looking at the chart, NVIDIA earnings were yesterday and it kind of pumped the entire market. So this is going to be a great time to take trades. <sighs> just from this view right here, I'm kind of getting a bearish vibe, but I need to play with the trend more than likely. So we're going to stick the longs. We're going to wait a little bit, try and get a good entry on these longs. NQ is the tech index. So it kind of determines where tech's going to move throughout the day. We need to keep our eyes on this very closely. NQ seems to be holding this low and ES is making the higher low. And NVIDIA still seems strong. We might take our long here am i over leveraging yes do i care no this is for you too bro money's not even real we're taking three contracts at 170 a piece let's freaking go order filled now this is kind of a one-to-one -one, which i don't tend to do but i usually don't take trades from a wheel anyways robin hood sucks but i love seeing this chart move bro it's so far i'm on two percent you heard me <laughs> Just talk to the kid nicely, all right? This is looking really good. So I'm currently losing everything. This is usually how my trades go. Give me a second. Let's go. Some of you may know I used to trade options solely. It's what I first started with, and that's how I made majority of my money in the beginning. Futures trading clears. But I still got so much love for this, man. It's so amazing. Thank you, options, for reminding me how much I hate you. I really need NQ to flip right now, or else I'm really in trouble. I do like, though, how NVIDIA is still holding up. That's the lead indicator for today for me. It's going to put tech on its back and push us higher. I'm going to have to sell my house. I'm not used to being in trade so long, bro. It feels weird. Look at NQ. Thank you, man. Look at NQ. We're holding this. And the video is still pushing highs. Microsoft, what are you doing, pal? Catch up with the team. <sighs> Moment of silence. I just don't get it, bro. Why is NQ trading higher than Microsoft just dropped? Everything I said was playing out. NVIDIA is trading higher. NQ is trading higher. Microsoft is fucking slacking. <laughs> oh my God. I'm liquidated, bro. Why are we doing this? Okay. See, come on. Let's, let's get it going. Come on, man. We back. Okay. No, we're not. So I just bought two more. Let's go. This is a horrible idea. Please never do this. I'm over leveraging to complete shit right now. This is for YouTube, man. It don't even exist. Oh, I got to stop doing this. Now, what I will say, the lack of volume in these candles can actually send us higher, potentially, if some buyers would like to step in and take a spot. And you can see we're right back at break even. Wee! I've spent years trying to learn and become a professional, all to end up spinning a wheel to find my trades. I'm such an idiot. Do I need to buy some my damn self? <laughs> We're in profit, dog. I feel like Mr. Beast. Ironically, NQ is dropping and we're pushing higher, which questionable play. But I ain't gonna ask questions, man. We just need to keep this move up. I got a comment on the last video saying that I don't put enough into my trades. Let me preface something. The two minute breaker block and the order block is gonna break the equilibrium with the liquidity sweep after the market structure break. Hey, bro, I don't enjoy doing that right now. I'm spinning a wheel to decide my trades. There's only so much a brother can do right now. I solely have to trade off price action because that's really all I'm getting right now. But look at Microsoft, man. As someone who has something that's micro and soft most of the time, I'm a fan. Honestly, we are up 10% on the port right now. All we're looking to do is continue this trend. That's it. This is for fun, bro. I'm full porting on Robinhood right now. Let me go. I feel like the man right now, bro. 10%. Oh, you know what, man? I got things to do. We're going to close this out. Boom. 10% on the day is fantastic. I get to make YouTube videos and make money at the same time. Like, oh, what is a better job on the earth? I'm not really super hyped about making 100 bucks on Robin Hood, but man, you know what? I don't give a fuck. With the capital I was given of 1,000 bucks, 10% you cannot complain about. But I'm not just here to entertain you, bro. I want to give you some sort of value and obviously some sort of idea of how to take trades. But just focus on execution. I don't have all these A-plus setups and 10 indicators telling me to get into this trade. But you need to realize with good risk management, anything can be a good trade. If I get Forex, bro, I'm going to be heated, bro. <laughs> Please. Thank you, God. Let's go. I promise you on my life, I'm not doing any double spins. I'm not doing anything. I'm just happy I didn't get Forex. I trade NQ, so please give me NQ, bro. I will actually... All right, bro. God damn. Still a great option. Look at Microsoft too, bro. I really am him. I never trade ES, but thankfully, I do have two zones we're actually trading within today. Same thing applies to Microsoft. Tech has been booming over the last day, so we want to try and catch a retest and continue that move upwards. We can monitor that price action is really bad right now, which if trading off a wheel wasn't hard enough, look at what we're doing now bigger time frames are telling me that i should probably take longs right here though that is the big difference though i think we have an opportunity to play this low right here and i think i'm gonna take it we're in pretty hefty right now you have to look at the bigger picture and we are still very bullish on days like this you want to see these moves down so you can actually get into a good entry on long we got our three tps up <laughs> come on man <laughs> what a great entry man boom man that's tp1 man you already know that 
We were in eight minis on spy right there. We just scaled out three. We have five contracts remaining. We're gonna look to hit this TP2. I'm gonna take majority out. We'll have about two minis left to hold and see if we can get this TP3. You can see how strong this area is, man. That's what I love about playing off supply and demand is you have such value taking these trades. This is a six risk to reward right now. I have to go to a meeting in five minutes, bro, and I don't wanna close this out, but we might have to. You know what? Fuck it. I'm taking my profit right here. I don't even care, bro. I don't even care. I got to go to this meeting. I'll be back in about an hour. I'm curious to see what happens with this trade. We will check back on it. Hopefully we get futures again so I can get my get back. And plus, I don't want to do any other one. So we made about a band off that futures trade. I have to take this call, bro. I was so confident in that trade too, man. I hope it doesn't play out. But look, we still made a thousand off that. And that's on a live account too, bro. So I am not complaining. So it's 1147. We're about to get back into this. But I have not yet to look at the chart. And I really, really am excited to see what happened. Because it was a really good trade, honestly. Bro, nah. You've got to be joking. Really, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that would have netted us like five grand. Why do I have to be responsible, bro? Hey, man, but what a trade. I wish I could have got the whole move, but we still caught a dub. Super cool to look at, though. Anything but Forex. Please, please. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I just realized I don't have any buying power left. We're going to have to respin, bro. Futures or Forex? It all comes down to this. God, please, if you're listening to me, do not give me Forex. One take, one winner. Please. <laughs> I promise you nothing is spun twice. Bro, I don't know what I would have done if I had a trade for X. End it on NASDAQ. Give me MQ. No! <laughs> you don't trade something, catch a move like this, and then trade it again, bro. That's like step number one. Don't do. We're approaching the afternoon, which means volume is going to be dying down. I don't have any zones, so we're going to have to refer to these bigger time frames to rely on these trades. You can see how much buying pressure we've had in this area previously. Five and 15 both give me bullish ideas. Hourly is obviously bullish, but not the greatest spot for an entry. Daily is extremely bullish. In this area, I am seeing more of a bearish setup. That's why I'm going to wait because I need to play with the trend. I need to play longs today. There's also this scenario where we're looking more likely to do so is that we have this big move down and we consolidate upwards back to these emas to break this zone and move lower you can see same thing on nq man that is textbook 15 minute is telling me to get long here i need to go three for three look at us holding this man look at us holding this longs are about to happen we're gonna take a half ad here we're gonna get into this half right now leave us time to add we're gonna have two tps here this is what it's all about regardless of win or lose we're taking great risk reward trades bro come on <laughs> i'll close out this bitch right now bro i don't give a fuck bro <laughs> do it let me hit my tv i got my butt ready come on do it boom We gotta put me in the goat debate, bro. Three for three. Let me know other challenges you want me to do. I love doing these type of videos. Subscribe or you're my biggest hater. I love you. <laughs>